Hey guys, welcome back to the second part of it. So previously we didn't use external data source. We just used uh, refining the data in the existing chat GPT to list the use cases we need the model to support. So now let's do the other way around. So I'm going to configure. I would just say uh, m1.doc and m1 has some data on YouTube analytics and some other data points on YouTube which I fetched it from internet, put it together in a word doc, which I would be specifying here. So I will go back here and say import data from my uploaded file. So give it a couple of minutes. Now we should see what's in that file. So if I remember right, what was in that file, let me show you. Yeah, it's like how to grow your YouTube channel in 2023. And it is from uh, Mr. Beast or uh, some other popular ones like uh, what they're going to do, create a high quality video, optimize search engine, uh, design attention grabbing thumbnails and some other data points. Use hashtags to boost your reach, boost your uh, engagement with call to action, build a strong relationship, invest in YouTube collaborations, capitalize, uh, build a bridge between short and long forms promote, uh, cross promote your videos, create YouTube playlists and host your live, live streams, check out uh, your YouTube analytics often and other stuff. So while we are doing this, okay, so it got all the data points I just mentioned here into here. Okay, so that's great. And now let me upload my next file, which is a PDF. So I would just say, uh, uh, just like this import from import data from my uploaded uh, PDF file. So it will now get the data from my PDF file. I think I have some 30 points from this here, which is choose your uh, keywords wisely and some other data points here, which this seems to be on the Google, top of Google search and seems to be pretty popular. So I just gave the data. So it uses uh, all the data points here. So it got all the data and give it a couple of minutes. I think it is going to populate all the highlights from that uh, PDF we uploaded and it's going to give you this, but I can give you this PDF and uh, this one you want, or you can just go to any YouTube video or go to any blog post, copy paste it and just feed it back in and that should do the trick here okay and then uh, name a uh, assign a name for my gpt okay i would say sounds good so let it now create the uh, thumbnail and it is going to get started. So yeah, it's using dal 3. I just don't know the legal implications of using this image elsewhere. Is it copyright protected or not? As per OpenAI, their copyright shield protects you if you are a business user. So I think nobody is going to sue us for using this image. So yeah, it got started here. And yeah, I can also say use code interpreter and other stuff. And uh, uh, description and okay, description and instructions for I would say channel starter. and let me move in here and what i had previously so let me also mention it this uh, should include okay so let it write some rules here so once we go back it should have the data points in here so this is going to update the G, uh, gpt with all these data points and the model would be updated here so let's give a couple of minutes. Uh, I know this is like not super fast, but uh, 
it is just probably the first week they are adding servers and eventually gonna get faster but yeah the gpt behavior got updated and that sounds good cool so what type of video should i make what metrics are this okay and that has all the data regarding this here if you don't like any of the questions as we discussed you can play add new ones and remove the existing ones if you want to add any of these capabilities beyond this three and uh, you're not happy with the default ones basically if you want if you don't want to use the data in the models you can turn this off if you think the data is private or you can keep it similarly for actions you can do two ones we are going to look at none next. We can look at API key and OAuth later on. These are the other ways barring uploading data from a file. We can provide data and also using capabilities beyond our web browsing, dal 3 and code interpreter plugins so that uh, our GPT we created can do more. So that's basically what I had in this video. Thank you for joining.